Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the NKW Cadenza playing cards. All right, so what are these? Uh, these are the most elegant and most simple way to learn the Juan Tamari stack. So yes, this is a deck specifically designed for magic. You know, and a lot of times uh, people ask me my opinion and they say, hey, what's a really good deck for magic? Or what's the best deck for magic? And you know, a lot of times uh, there's really no best way to answer that because you know, you can, do a, you can do magic tricks with any deck of cards. And so best, uh, I always try to stay away from that word because best is very subjective. You know, it's an opinion. And so, but if you were gonna ask me what my opinion was, uh, I love this deck. This deck was totally built with a magician in mind. So yeah, Cadenza is a deck designed with the working magician and cardist in mind. Uh, this deck comes in two carefully chosen Pantone colors. You have your choices of uh, either a, a vintage blue or a vintage red. And if you'd like to learn more about these cards or where they're sold, you can check them out at legendsplayingcards.com. The tuck case is made from that super cool synthetic paper. Uh, it's durable. So that means it's both waterproof and tearproof. Uh, the tuck is an elegant, minimalistic design. And if you scan the uh, QR code under the box, you will get access to a 31 page PDF that'll walk you through every single one of the bells and whistles. Depending on the color you purchase, your tuck case will either be white and red or white and blue. The front of the tuck case just simply says NKW and Cadenza, and then you have this beautiful uh, exploded pip on the front, which is the same uh, design and pattern uh, as the back of the deck of cards. One side says Diamond Finish Supreme Quality. The other side says NKW Playing Cards Cadenza. The bottom, of course, has some ad copy. The top says poker, and then you have this beautifully original uh, tax stamp tuck seal. The back design, of course, is the back design of the cards, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said, these cards are printed from the Legends Playing Card Company, and they are done with their diamond finish. Now, a lot of people always ask how the cards feel, how the cards handle. I can only tell you uh, how thick they are and then compare them with other decks that I previously measured. Uh, when I put this deck into a caliper of only 10 cards, use 10 cards as my standard, uh, it measures out to 2.79 millimeters, which makes them very thin stock, okay? So you're gonna come across uh, other decks that would feel this same way. You'd have the Memento Mori deck, uh, the Gamesters deck, and the Blue choice deck. All right, so as far as the stock goes, if you're not already familiar with the Legends Diamond Finish, this is designed specifically for humid weather and it's less prone to warping. Yeah, the cards are a little stiffer than maybe a traditional deck of cards that you would buy at the grocery store, but it's so much more durable and solid. The back design features a very uh, classic, very timeless floral back design. I love this back design only because it simply looks like other uh, vintage uh, decks made by more popular playing card company. So you do get that vintage look, that vintage feel, but at the same time, you get the nice thin uh, white borders. All right, so the other great thing about this deck of cards is that the back design is marked and there are uh, different types of markings. And the great thing about this deck is it actually includes all of them. So um, number one, these are reader backs. Now, what's the difference between a reader back and a marked back? A reader back means that you can look at the back of the cards and you would clearly see what the identity is, okay? There's nothing to decipher. Uh, if it's a seven of clubs, it says seven of clubs on the back. That means it's a reader back. So these cards are reader backed. It has both suit and value, uh, and it is a UMD type of mark. So it's both practical and reliable. And for somebody who wears glasses and has trouble uh, seeing, I can read this just fine. So it's great. Uh, the second type of mark is that there is actually a mnemonica stack number on the cards as well. Okay, so. Mnemonica stack. You're gonna get the cards sealed up in the Juan Tamari Mnemonica stack. Why is that a good thing? Well, it's a good thing because it means you can do a new deck open in front of a spectator. So you have your deck of cards, you say, hey, this is a deck of cards, I'm gonna open it brand new in front of you, tear the seal, and then you false shuffle, okay? And then the spectator believes 
This is a brand new deck. There's no way you could have set it up and now you don't know where any of the cards are. Surprise, surprise, you know where every single card is because it's now back into its Melonica stack. Uh, the only issue with that is, of course, you can only do that trick once because you can't reseal the deck unless you're awesome. Uh, but a lot of times uh, you get these decks in Mnemonica stack and then you shuffle them and get them all confused and then you're like, oh, I'm never going to put it back into Mnemonica stack again. This marking system allows you to put the deck back in Mnemonica stack from cards 1 to 52. So the numbers 1 to 52 are on the back as well, allowing you to put this deck back into Mnemonica stack quickly. Third, there's also a third marking system on there, and that is a ribbon spread marking system, meaning uh, you can't see the entire back of the cards, and you only have it fanned across the table in a ribbon spread, but along the sides of each card, you're also able to read the value as well. This is a marked portion, which means you'd have to decipher the code in order to understand the value. Okay, so each deck comes with identical jokers. Uh, they're completely black. It says joker down the side, and the joker is wearing a jester's cap and a pair of reading glasses. Your ace of spades is a black version of what the front of the tuck case looks like. Simply has the large exploded pip there with the decoration from the back design, and it does say cadenza, moment of virtuosity underneath. Pips, indices, and courts are all gonna be completely standard, uh, bicycle standard, and what you would recognize and what your spectators will recognize, uh, which is another reason why I think this is a great, great deck for magic. All right, so in each deck, both red and blue, both come with their own set of gas cards. Now, the red deck will come with a double backer, and then the second gaff with the red deck is um, a banker wins card. So it's a yellow card that says banker wins, and this is a specific card that's used in Monty routines. The blue back deck also comes with its own gaff cards, um, one of which is a double facer, and the second one is a reveal gaff card that is quite humorous. All right, that is my review for the NKW Cadenza cards. And like I said, if you want to learn more about them, you can visit Legends Playing Cards and find out uh, just how you can purchase them uh, and their availability. I love this deck. Like I previously said, I think this is a great, great deck for Magic. This is one of those decks that I would easily recommend in my favorites of 2016, especially for those of you uh, who are looking for just a really cool uh, deck for Magic. As always, recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy, and if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.